Hi, this is just a quick video on how to and what you will need to do water drop macro photography. So first thing you'll need is a tripod. It can be any tripod. Cheap ones for £20, anything. Your camera, preferably with a macro lens, or you can use reverse rings or extension tubes. And then you need somewhere to set up. So we'll start off with backgrounds. This is like a silver glitter paper. So I've just made like a little stand so it keeps the background up at the back. Like so. Then you'll need quite a varied selection of backgrounds. So I use like wine bottle cases. It's got one that sparkles there. Red and white ones. Some Christmassy ones. All sorts of wrapping paper. Loads of Bright neon card. So I've got pinks and greens. All these little bits and bats coming handy when you're doing macro photography. So now you've got your base. So you want to start with a, another background then. So we'll start with this wine bottle case here. Can't really see how deep the red is in this video. But it makes a nice background there. So now you need your accessories. To do water drop photography you will need syringes. So it's a lot easier to place the water drops on whatever you're putting them on. And if you're using glitter for your water drops, you want loads of areas of glitter. So I've got loads of really fine iridescent stuff there. And then whole boxes of glitter here, little tubs, large sprinkles of glitter. And the best way to use or to put glitter onto the water drops is to use straws. So I've just got a really fine tiny one from drinks cups there and then large ones that you get at restaurants or fast food places there. So you can scoop the glitter up and then just tap it like that onto the water drop. And second thing is the surfaces. So you can use all sorts of feathers black ones, pinks, blues, purples, anything. And you've got yellow ones, all sorts of stuff in there. So you want a collection of different stuff like I've got little stars there, love arts, anything that will make the picture sparkle or make it brighter. Snowflakes in there. So now we want to get somewhere that you can rest your surface on. So I've just got a bit of got a bit of foam there. So we'll get a feather. Get one from here. I'm using a, I've got a yellow feather there. Then carefully with your syringe, just add the water drops onto the feather.
that's one there. Let's see if you can see a bit closer. It's not a macro lens I'm using for this video, so you can't really see it. Or you can add more. So, got two water drops on that feather there. <coughs> and that on its own would make a good picture. So if you get low down with your macro lens here on the level of the water drop and focus through the drop you'll be able to see the reflection of your background in the water drop. You'll need to use a high f stop or like f18, f22 something like that. And then to make the picture pop more you can use all your little accessories that you've collected. So you can add little stars on there onto your picture and then you can also use glitter depends on what sort of water drop you're doing just open it up stick some glitter on there to make to make it sparkle or to make bokeh anything like that So that's your basic setup there. So when you've got your back all in, you want to focus in as close as you can to get the better, better picture. So there you can just use um, a slow shutter speed and a higher stop. Or you can use um, an external speed gun or flash to add more. It gives a lot more sparkle with the glitter. So you can just use that there, point that against the background or just bounce it off the roof and then you can take your picture. Hope that helps.